Hello everyone. Hello Pro Traders. Welcome to GW Pro Trading. It's Gwyn Michael here. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a trade call on ADUSD. If you're new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe and also smash on the notification bell on this channel so you'll be getting information whenever I post content such as this one. Alright, in this video, we're going to be learning where we can also have the possible best entry for ADUSD. However, for this one here, I am not going to do a too lengthy analysis for this one here, but I'm also going to give you one of the reasons why you want to subscribe to this channel because in also the past as well, we've also seen that whenever I post analysis or a trade call such as this one here, which I'm doing on this one here, a few minutes later, price moves into target. This was one of the last one we did. Also with this one, price then moved into the target, which we want to see an ABC corrective wave on the gbp aud and then we also made an analysis as well that we want to see price then move to the upside and we can see that price then continue to move to the upside as expected however for this one here i expect series of prices to continue as well and we also have it that this could also turn out to be a corrective pattern which i also want to see price move into around the 1.855 territory however for this one when that is ready i'm also going to give you a full breakdown for that one as well and i'm going to share with you as well more analysis as well this was also with the gbp chf and which has also moved up massively about more than 50 pips as well into desired target however you need to be stayed glued to gw pro trading because good michael here is always back with the wave count and also give you possible entries also possible points of view as when to know how you want to start approaching your trading life all right so we'll go over to the main business of the day, which is also the AUD USD, because I don't want you guys to miss any pip from this one here. I want you guys to capture all the pips with me because I'm also ready to do some. And I would also be capturing this one as well in massive positions as well, because I've also put up that sell order during the news release as well during the Asia session. And I'm also in profit already. All right, so I'm going to be giving you also the new setup also, which you can also input or also enter this one on a pending order as well. So here, we also have that price was also moving in an uptrend, all right? After this is wave five here, and we looked at possible seeing a possible wave A, and that's what we're going to be working on right now, all right? So I'm not going to break this down. You can go back to my previous video and then check it out. But for this one here, I think price then started a corrective wave, all right? Price then started a corrective wave, I would say. Initially, what we did here, what we're doing here at GW Pro, we, we wanted to see a more of a contractive structure such as this one here all right that's what we're doing there all right but i got a lot of information i got a lot of requests and you could say some said we should actually look at paralleling this all right we looked at a channeling this and you know this is wrong all right we don't want to do this because we're working on the current wave c and which also wave c moved into this zone so whatever is happening here is an impulse which exceeded just little bit way higher than this one here and then drop to downside which also created the wave b however i've got lots of um series of questions that this could also be a wave one and this could also be a wave two however if that could be true i'm looking at what is also happening here as a wave a b possible c d and maybe an e to create maybe an a b c or one two then three then however structure that uh, whatever that is going to be but however for this one here this is one we're going to be looking at taking right now because this is also ready to track all right however what is if this is one two then this setup here is going to fit better in any of those possibilities all right so what's going on here here we're going to take out this two because this is wrong all right we're going to delete that all right channel right? because that's wrong here what we have right now is a possible wave a possible wave b and we have a possible wave c all right what we have here is an a b c structure and what i want to see after that a b c structure what i want to see is i want to i'm expecting that this is an a b c for one all right you can drop in a comment as well if you have another decision or another thing which you expect this to be i think this is an a b c for wave one so whatever is happening here i think this is going to be a wave two okay or however if this is going to be an a b c for an a this is supposed to be an a b c for a b so however this leg here is a b leg which i'm expecting or it could also be an abc 
which can also create a W and then X and then an ABC for a Y. Then we can continue to see price move to downside. And at this point of the Y leg, we could look at this as our D leg. Provided we don't have price breaking above the extreme of wave B, this could also create our D leg. Then we might also have price then move to the downside. But however, we're going to look at a more short term analysis for this one here. And we're going to look at when we want to be taking a trade decision because there is a difference between analysis and taking a trading action. And one of the reasons why I like the Elliott Wave rule so better than every other strategy, and I term it as the best strategy in the world, is because it provides a context for market action. All right, it gives you reason to be able to take a trading decision as well. And it also gives you possible points of view and shows you right to the very last peep and helps you understand when you're wrong. All right, so for this one here, I'm going to go down to an early time frame. However, we're working a downtrend. As you can see, we're working a downtrend. And from this point here, it's when we want to start seeing a wave drop to complete the wave 2 or B. Right. However, we don't know what that will create, if it's going to be a wave 2 or wave B, but I'm looking at the possibility of that creating a wave 2. So if this is going to be a flat pattern, all right, or whatever structure this is going to be, I think I will be very happy to see price extend a little bit down into the 78.6. However, price came close into the 61.8 of this swing. But yet, couldn't bound. So this couldn't bound completely, and I expect to see price move in just a little bit close to the 78.6, which is inside around this territory. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and put up a line, and then put up a territory there, which we could expect price to drop down below or into. All right, so this zone here of the 0.723 area is what I expect price to do. All right, I expect price to drop into that territory there. All right, so on the hourly four hourly time frame or on the one hourly time frame, we can also identify here that this morning we also had a very important news on AUD, which was also the monetary report minute as well. So here we also had it that prior to that meeting, prior to that meeting, that we had AUD USD trading in this channel prior to that meeting. All right, we had AUD USD trading inside of this channel here, and before on Monday we had AUD break to the downside, which could have also created an impulse correction, and then we could expect to see price continue to move to the upside. However, price created a strong A, and this should have been the continuation of this breakout but however price did consolidate here to drop and then falls out with this so this not taking out the extreme of this this is a fake out so i look at this as an a i looked at this as a b what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for a little pullback, say, right into this territory here, and I'm going to short. I'm going to short around that territory here, right? I'm going to short around this territory here. I'm going to short around the 0 0.7348. I'm going to short around there. And as always, my stop loss is going to be 10 pips from the highest candle. All right, so 10 pips from this hand candle here is going to be my stop loss is going to be. I'm going to put my stop loss 10 pips above. 10 pips above. 0 0.7377. All right, stop loss 0 0.7377. Let's go there. Stop loss 0 0.7377. We're going to have a stop loss. And we're going to have our entry. We're going to have our entry. 0 0.7348 that's gonna be our entry point so we're gonna have our entry there and our final tech profit is gonna be what we're gonna what I'm gonna be doing with this one here I'm gonna be targeting first 
these structures there. I'm going to be targeting first 45 to 50 pips. Why I want to do that is I don't want to see price turn into a corrective wave here. I don't want to see that because if you have a, some sort of correction here too long, price may continue to upside from that point. I don't want to see a corrective wave inside of this territory. I want to see price drop a little bit, correct a little bit, then drop, breaking this structure and also the low. Once that happens, I'm going to have to work with trust stop with this one. I'm going to shift my trust stop to my entry. Once I have a 30 pips profit, I'm going to shift my trust stop or my stop loss to my entry point. All right, so that's what I'm going to be doing with this one here. So I'm going to have to target this structure first. I'm going to target here. I'm going to have to target this 61.8 Fibonacci retracement of this swing. All right. You don't want to have price come in and bounce of this territory and you're not first making money. You're not first making money from this point here. So I'm looking at this one here and it also fits better. We're going to be looking at taking first 34 pips. Our risk it's going to be 30 pips. So we are more of one is to one first here. Then we've taken our first profit and then we're going to shift our stop loss to our entry point. Then we could expect price to continue rallying down to the downside. However, once price continues to move downward, we're going to put a channeling tool here. We're going to channel whatever activity is happening here. Then we can expect that price will also continue into that territory. All right, expect price to move a little bit, then drop. We're going to put a channel, and then we're going to expect that when that happens, we put our stop loss here, and then we we'll continue riding that to the downside. All right, see you next time. Subscribe, like, and also share. That goes also help in the question of more educational videos, and it will also help you and also improve your trading life because here I also give you step-by-step -step analysis and also show you what I look for in the market in order to be able to make a trading decision. See you next time. I love you all.